Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is May 30th, 2019. I'm in Slidell, Louisiana. Today, we got Richie Rich with us today. Richie and I have been doing a couple of cutouts over the last couple of weeks, and we're back here on in Slidell today, and we'll be doing this one. In fact, the bees will be going home with Richie. The house has got at least two hives in it. Uh, one, the one that we're gonna be doing today, is located right up in the ceiling right here. Uh, it's not a really, the heat signature isn't in that big. The uh, the homeowner said they hadn't been in there that long, but you know, that doesn't mean anything to me because they tell me that all the time and then it's a monster. The heat signature was probably about a foot and a half. But we're here to take down the ceiling, get those bees, vacuum up and head them over to Richard. And by the grace of God, we'll catch that queen. Bees will get vacuumed up and we'll be out of here within at least two or three hours. It's time to do some wrangling. You ready, Richie? Ready. All right, let's do this thing. Wow, look at this one, folks. All brand new comb. Man, man, sweet. This is a nice little one. Hopefully we'll be able to get that stuff framed up. It'll be strong enough to hold. And we're gonna be looking for that queen. All right, let's cut out some comb, huh? Woo, woo, that's nice. Now, before we get started, I want to um, kind of show you the prep work that we do. It, it may appear that when we remove hives that it's all random, that we just go in and vacuum bees. But it's, it's important to think ahead as to what are the bees, how are they, bees going to react as we vacuum the bee, uh, as we vacuum them. And so what the, the tendency is to run to the furthest place. So the first thing we did was we blocked that little crack back between the brick and that plate right there. And there was an open space and if they went in there, <laughs> that would have been a bad thing. So we blocked that thing off. And then we also, on the other side, we blocked off the open cavity on this side as well. So the only place that bees can go <laughs> is in the vacuum cleaner. We've, we've got these bees cornered and they're already starting, as you can see, to gather at the very end of it right here. So as we vacuum the bees starting from this end, that's what they're gonna wanna do is they're gonna wanna go to, towards the back. And in fact, we, we may even start pulling this thing from the back side to give us a little bit more room for them. But it's, it's just a little prep work to um, Make sure that we don't lose bees into cracks and, and openings. I think it's time we're to vacuum some bees. Richie's gonna be doing the honors here. <laughs>
Now folks, it was our last piece of comb. And look at it right there. Point her out, Richard. You see it? Well, look at that big old rump on she's got, huh? Ooh wee! Look at that. Hi, right, Richard. You gonna put her in the cage? Girl. What you got to say? <laughs> what you got to say about that one? <laughs> what you got to say, Richie? Woohoo! Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. All right, we're gonna finish vacuuming this thing up. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Ain't saying no more, folks. And like again, like what I said about blocking off any exits that the bees could use to make their escape. It's you need to survey the the area that you're working, close off those areas, and it just will help contain the bees and you're more likely to succeed in, in capturing the queen. So let me go show you the comb that we're not going to be using. Now here's a little trick that Richie came up with. He uh, takes, and it works really good except with this brand new comb. It's almost like a taco rack, huh? That you uh, slide your frame, frames of comb, sections of comb between it and these little, I think it's a dishwasher? There's a plate rack. Plate rack. And they'll support the comb while you're removing the hive. And that's generally what I do is I remove the whole hive before I start framing it up. It, it, the job works faster that way. So this is a, um, it's an innovative way of, of holding the comb. And I always put it in upside down. And that way no honey is going to drip over our brood. And so that's why the brood in here is upside down. But none of this is going to be able to be used. This stuff is just so soft. And all, all that's going to happen if you try to put this in your comb is you're just going to invite the beetles to come in. And there's, the bees are already stressed out enough as it is, and they don't need that aggravation. So these bees, uh, they're going to be treated as a swarm. They'll be put into the box and uh, have the queen united with them. I think we are going to try to use some of this brood right here because this comb is a little bit harder and we won't put any of the, the honey in it at all. They'll just have to start working for that. But we're still two weeks, three weeks into our honey flow, so they should be able to do it. Here's Richie Rich right here, another member of our River Region Bee Club. And uh, he and I have been wrangling bees now for probably two years now, in fact, because I know, I know y'all have introduced him because he and I, uh, you, well, you, first. yeah, and then we, we did the, the cutout for Jenny, yeah. and then um, we did the, the, the garage and the comb as well, and then a couple other ones. So I, I know there's at least two videos that Richie is, is um, he and I have done together. So this one, it's a wrap on this one. You got anything to say? Come on, man. <laughs> say something. It was easy. It wasn't bad. <laughs> it wasn't easy. So we do have another one over here on, on the side of the house, and I don't know if Richie's going to want me to come with him because, uh, you know, he, he, he says I'm a real hard taskmaster. <laughs> yeah, you can all teach me some more. <laughs> so that's all we got for you this one. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. and We'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed and Richie. Richie, we're out until the next video. So this, this is my attempt of, of, of an observation hive. And, and I stand on this side of the light because you got to see the box top on, on this side. you got to open it on this side. So when you, you got to come on this side. So when, 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 you, when you open, take the top off and you open up. <laughs> so I thought I had to video that. <laughs> Stand, stand over here, come stand over here. Stand over here. <laughs> so, so I, I decorated up for, for the, um, for the, <laughs> so that, that they, they can see it. And so when you, when you open the box, when you open the box, <laughs> 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 <laughs>